Hi, everybody, and welcome to Z-Code Systems Sports Picks. Here, we develop and share automated systems to help you win big, and not just win big, but win consistently every single time. So, as we are approaching the beginning of March, we are getting ready for the big playoff push in the NBA. So, I want to show you some of the big matchups here for the for Friday the 1st, and we're going to go down through here on our uh, VIP club section to look at the tools that we have. Are we going to help make us understand how to make the picks better? So the first game here is the Charlotte Hornets and the Brooklyn Nets. Charlotte enters uh, play at 28-32. They are 8-21 and on the road. Now they have won four out of their last 10 games. Uh, Brooklyn is 32-30. and They are 18-14 and at home. Four and six over the last ten. So if we're going to look here at the power rankings indicator, you can see here that uh, Brooklyn is at plus 15 and heading up. Charlotte is on the downward trend and they are at plus nine. If you see here, uh, the Nets are burning hot and the Hornets are ice cold down. On, at head-to-head -head matchups for this season, take a closer look at that. The Nets have had the better of the series so far this year, winning two out of the three games. Although two of the three games were very close. And score. So let's take a look at what else we can have here. If you look here at the volatility oscillator, I like to see this to see how stable the teams are. They're both among the most stable teams in the league at plus 23 and plus 21. That means that they perform very consistently according to their favorite underdog status. So you put it all together because of all of this. Brooklyn is the better team. They're in the playoff hunt. They are sixth in the Eastern Conference. Charlotte could play a, a solid game for a while, but Brooklyn will come away with the win in this one in the end. So we come down here to our next matchup. Going to look at Portland and Toronto. This is going to be one of the big ones of the week. Portland is uh, in the playoff hunt. They are 13-15, though, on the road, but they're 7-10 and over the last 10 games. They're playing quite well of late. Uh, Toronto has the second-best record in the Eastern Conference at 44-17. and they're 25 and 6 at home. They're 8 and 2 over their last 10. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you will see that Toronto is on a slight downward trend, but still at plus 27. Portland is on the rise at plus 25. Um, if you look at the head to head matchup, they've only played one game so far between the two this year. Portland won by 6 back on December the 14th of last year in a high-scoring game, and they were actually home underdogs in this one. Toronto was a slight favorite in that game. If you look here at the volatility oscillator, you will see, again, both teams are really very stable. Plus 28 for Toronto, plus 21 for uh, Portland. Portland can put a, forth a good fight in this game. I don't see that they'll come away with a win, as Toronto is just too tough at home. So Toronto will win this one, keep pressure on the Bucks in the Eastern Conference. If we go down here to the next matchup, Washington at, at Boston. Washington is not in the playoff hunt, but Boston is. They are 37 and 23, fifth in the Eastern Conference, 23 and 8 at home, 6 and 4 over their last 10 games. Washington, 7 and 24 on the road. They're playing very poorly on the road and only three wins in their last 10 games. But you see, both of them are ice cold down at the moment. Neither team is playing particularly well lately. Um, if you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see the trend. Boston's on a big downward trend just over the last week from plus 26 down to plus 16. Washington's pretty much stable at plus 5. So what does this all mean? Well, first of all, let's look at the head-to-head -head matchups before we tell you what this all means. If you look here at the matchups for this season, um, well, Boston won the only game so far between the two teams this season that took them over time to do it on the road in Washington. They're at home. Boston is clearly the better team. They have something to play for. Washington doesn't have much of a chance uh, in this one. I say Boston will win this one rather easily. Now we go down here to New Orleans and Phoenix. Well, what can we say about Phoenix? They are the worst team in the league. They are 12 and 50, 7 and 22 at home and 1 and 9 over the last 10. And you can see their status is dead up. Uh, the Pelicans, they are ice cold down at the moment. They are 27 and 35 for the season, 9 and 23 on their own, 4 and 6 over the last 10. If you look at the power rank indicator, you will see the teams 
the uh, Phoenix is zero and New Orleans is at plus 10. As far as uh, stability goes, if you look at the oscillator, volatility oscillator, we'll see that Phoenix is among the most stable teams. In fact, they very well could be the most stable team in the league at plus 36. Phoenix is at plus 19. So being, the, or excuse me, New Orleans is at plus 19. Phoenix will be the underdog even though they're at home. Uh, they really have very little chance against the Pelicans team in this one, and they will lose the game. New Orleans could win by double digits also in this one. It shouldn't be very close. Okay, if you look at the next game we have here, we have the Milwaukee Bucks and the Los Angeles Lakers. So Milwaukee comes in with the best record in the NBA. Okay, they are burning hot. They are uh, 46 and 14 on the season, 21 and 9 on the road, which is outstanding, and 9 and 1 over their last 10. The Lakers are struggling to get to the 500 mark and to remain in the playoff race. They are 29 and 31, just 3 and 7 over their last 10, which leads to their ice cold down status, and 17 and 12 at home. If you look at what they've done head to head this season, well, they have not played yet this season. Last year, the Bucks took both games. If you look at the power ranking indicator in these two teams, you will see Milwaukee's right up at the top here at plus 29. And look at the Lakers up and down all season, up, down, up, down, up, down, and now they are back down slightly again to plus 13. Let's see how stable the teams are. Milwaukee performs very well as indicated by their favorite underdog status at plus 28. They will be the favorites in this one on the road. They will win the game to maintain their lead in the Eastern Conference. So those are all the games. But now if you don't want to go through all these stats and everything, that's fine. You don't have to do that. You can look at some of our systems here. This is a sports trader right here. If you look at this, it's a really good uh, thing you can use here. What you do is you can look at the uh, at the profits. Here's the all systems profit chart. You can see over a three year period, one year period, three month period. You can see how the profit trend is. Here's math expert portfolio chart with the profit for this one on the left side here you can select your sports so you can pick like NBA since we're doing NBA right now you can select NBA and then you can go with the different system selectors down the side here you can see that there's all different kinds you can, that you can pick here's one just an NBA favorite dog system maybe you want that because since we're doing the NBA so you can select this one or just in basketball system you pick which one's best for you if you don't really know which one you want to pick you could put something in here, go down to this, you could go to all systems, and you can put down your profit method. You can go by that. Uh, it's really a very good tool. If you haven't joined, you can open up an account right here, which says you're welcome to Sports Trader. Here's how to get started step one, step two, step three. It's really not very difficult. You just read through this, and you can join in and join in the fund and earn more money with these systems. Okay, so. I hope you have a great week. Happy picking. And if you haven't joined already, please join. You will have a lot of fun. You will win, win big. You will win consistently with Z Code Sports System. Okay, have a great week, and we'll talk to you later.